y'all. Welcome back to Sarah Grace Cookie Company. Today I'm showing you how to make watercolor painted sugar cookies. I've got one of these little plastic paint palettes I picked up at Hobby Lobby. They're super cheap and they're great for this job. I'm using a little bit of gel food coloring and some lemon extract. I like lemon extract because if one of my Baptist grannies sees me walking through Walmart with a bottle of vodka, it will not be good. <laughs> you just need something with a high alcohol content, like a lemon extract or a vodka would work like an Everclear. I'm using a little bit of blue and a little bit of green, and I've done a few different wells. That way I have a variety of colors. I'm just doing a little bit more color in a few and a little bit less in some others. That way I have some different shades to work with. So we're gonna start out with just a touch of the green. We're gonna be making some leaves that go with a watercolor floral pattern. <laughs> Y'all may be able to hear my little boy, Miles. He's really excited about watercolor cookies. <laughs> This is some gold dust that I picked up from Amazon. I'll link that in the description below. I believe it's called Egypt something. It works really well when you mix it with that lemon extract. So I'm just painting a few leaves here with the green and with the watercolor effect, it looks really nice, I think, if you go back and add just a little touch more in a few areas to give it some dimension. For the flowers, I'm just laying down a circle with that really light color of blue. That's the one where I'd already taken most of my color off from kind of rubbing the brush in the first wheel. And then I didn't have much left on the brush, so I just kind of popped it into that next wheel and it made a lighter color of that blue. Just dot in the center with that gold. You have to kind of stir it around each time you use it just to make sure that you've got the gold nice and incorporated. Now a note on these cookies. These are cookies that I flooded with some 20 second royal icing. If you're not familiar with royal icing, I can help you with that. I teach cookie decorating and I have lots of videos on royal icing recipes, royal icing consistency. You would probably really like to check out the video where I talk about the easy way to do royal icing. That's where I use a um, cookie scoop or an ice cream scoop. I don't know what other people call it. I use it for a cookie scoop, but some people use it for ice cream. One of those little metal scoops. And you can use that to measure out your icing and then add just a teaspoon of water and it gives you that perfect flood consistency. I've flooded these cookies with that consistency and just allowed it to dry overnight or up to 12 hours, um, just as long as you can let it dry because if you start painting on a cookie that isn't completely dry and completely hardened through, your brush will break through that surface. I did just a little marbled look on this one and I'm adding that gold vein to kind of make it bougie. <laughs> This one is kind of like a geode cookie without the pop rocks. It's just a smooth looking geode kind of color pattern. And I just used those varying shades to kind of make it look darker toward the middle and then lined it with that gold. If you're interested in learning to decorate sugar cookies, definitely subscribe to my channel because I post videos every Tuesday, usually sometime in the evening on Tuesdays, with cookie decorating content and tips and ideas for decorating sugar cookies. This one has an ombre look. I'm starting with that very lightest blue tone and then I'm increasing the blue just a little bit by going to the next well over. Then I'm using the darkest blue and coming up from the bottom. Now this is a really good opportunity to just kind of play around and see what you like with watercolor cookie painting. This is the way I started cookie decorating. I didn't really do a whole lot of popping or anything like that. I just did painted cookies. Um, I did a few that were painted or a few that were popped at first, but it was mostly painted stuff for weddings. Um, so this kind of took me back to those days when I did um, mostly cookie painting before I started much popping. I painted the side of the cookie I saw. I think it was Casey's Cakery. She did this the other day and I thought it was so pretty. Y'all can probably hear my little man in the background. 
He's watching his cartoons right now while mom records over the video. I have two-year-old twin boys and it is definitely interesting decorating cookies and making content and all of that at the same time while raising little twins, but I'm blessed to have lots of help, so that's nice. This one is just a really nice kind of painted brush stroke look. I really love the brush stroke look in the bullet journals that I've been seeing on Pinterest. I get a lot of inspiration for cookies from the bullet journal Pinterest boards and Instagram accounts that I follow. So I was kind of taking a page out of those bullet journal, um, I guess you would call them bullet journal artists. Yeah, I'm going to call them bullet journal artists. Um, <laughs> taking a page out of their book and using that gold over the watercolor effect. You can find free resources about cookie decorating that will help you get started on your cookie journey on saragracecookieco.com. You can go to the little tab that says freebies and check those out. I have lots of stuff there with like icing consistency. And you can also go to classes. You can book virtual classes and you can also sign up for pre-recorded classes so that you can learn at your pace. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.